Lights at Lafarge is a huge annual event that celebrates winter from November through to late January. Attendance usually peaks in December with up to 10,000 people on a good night. This year, the lights and the lake will be dark. We could fence the whole thing off and have a, a single gate and point of entry, take contact tracing information, you know, limit uh, the number of people to ensure social distancing or physical distancing and all that. Um, but that would be a very different kind of event. It's the latest in a string of events to pull the plug on festivities this year as BC struggles to beat the pandemic. The Vancouver Christmas Market usually stretches across Jackpool Plaza with more than 80 vendors. This winter, the plaza will be empty. Safety guidelines and directives around COVID-19 means many events have become impossible to organize safely when the message is to focus on small groups. I think we need to consider all of the celebrations that are coming up, whether it's Diwali or Hanukkah or Christmas, and look at how we can regroup and uh, focus on our immediate family. The Indian lunar celebration of Diwali falls on November 14th this year. Downtown events in Vancouver and Surrey usually attract thousands of people. Instead, this weekend and next, there will be virtual gatherings. We're trying to um, keep our signature events intact. They have just been created by different artists who have practiced social distancing and or wearing masks even while getting together for group performances. Remembrance Day services are also being cut back. Uh, there will be no parade, no veterans, no military units, no cadets. Uh, some of the ceremonial aspects of it will be gone. Not everyone is cancelling. Some events are simply scaling back amid the protocols. The Greater Vancouver Zoo will light up its glow gardens next month and the Capilano Suspension Bridge will turn on its canyon lights December 1st. Both places say capacity will be limited and tickets to enter at a specified time will have to be bought in advance. And Van Dusen Garden says its Festival of Lights has been confirmed for now. What happens in the next few weeks is hard to say. Bell Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.